Greetings to you today, it's Prism with Agendas and Persuasions. How are you all doing? It's Monday, My Life Monday, where I basically say what I've been doing the last week, which isn't much actually. I'm still waiting to hear back from the school about Patrick's um, tutor that's supposed to be coming out and obviously other bits and pieces I still need to sort out and I'm waiting on that. Um, what else? Not been doing much else. Um, Saturday night was uh, Chris Thompson, Sutwick 06. It was his Stage It show. Now, um, I'm lucky that I get to do the sound check. It's sort of like a tradition now that I always get to do the sound check, which I am, you know, like eternally grateful to being able to do the sound check, you know. Um, so I don't tend to win the Skype course. What I often do is I like give people rides and things like that. I mean, I often get a message from Chris a couple of hours or so before and going along the lines of how many are you? Because he knows sort of like how many tickets are sold and how many have I give rides to, how many tickets have I gifted out to people and stuff like that. And he often tells me off, but hey, more bums on seats in effect. You know, the more people that watch, the more people that will go to the next stage it show and the more people there. I mean, this stage it show, I mean, wow. He put up the 150 tickets, they sold out. He put up another 20, they sold out. So he broke the record, he sold 170 tickets. He even broke the amount of money for most tips and stuff like that. So yeah that is absolutely brilliant awesome news so yeah the more people attend the more people that go to the next one the more money he gets from it because that's the whole point at the end of the day you know but anyway so i don't win the skype calls anymore but like i said it doesn't worry me i just love the concerts you know like i said the fact i get to do the sound check as well is just good enough for me you know i don't ask for anything more but anyway um so saturday night my mate anya won um <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Anya. Oh, just thank... I, I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough. Um, basically, she won the Skype call and passed it on to me. So I did end up with a Skype call with Chris, which was awesome. The only thing is, uh, sort of like, um, I wasn't obviously not expecting the call. So the concert's over. I'm listening to some music. I'm just sort of like not doing much. And I thought, I feel hungry. I'm going to make myself some toast. So I'm out in the kitchen and I've got the first two pieces of toast done, buttered, um, cut up on my plate. The second two pieces are literally just popped out the toaster. I'm about to put the butter and marmite on them when I hear the bloop, bloop, bloop noise from Skype. My first thought was, oh, it's Neve, you know, because she often Skypes me after the, the concerts and we chat about it and stuff, you know. Um, so I go sit back down and also like call from up Ricky 06 and I'm like, am I good? And I'm thinking, pff, pff, my toast. <laughs> So, yeah, um, that, so that was amazing. I was not expecting it. Um, he told me off about my Chris Emerson picture, blocking the picture of me and him. And I said, well, look, I said at the end of the day, I thought also I had my other pictures from London there with him. I had my pew, pew, pew belt. I was even wearing my pew, pew, pew hoodie at the, at the time. You know, I said, what more does he want? You know, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so I ended up with cold toast afterwards which I'm not mad keen on but I couldn't be bothered to cook anymore but yeah so Saturday night shut up phone I'm busy anyway <laughs> my phone going off um yes and it was the tiredest time before anybody said anything um yeah so it was an awesome like Saturday night um and I haven't really done much at all the past week like I said I'm still waiting on stuff for the school um, I've got to try and get Patrick into the doctors. Um, still got a little bit more cosplay stuff to get. Um, I finished the cross stitch for um, Sean and Noel. I've got to post that off this week. Um, I've got to, actually I've got to go to the shops tomorrow. I need to get some more fabric. I need to get some more Ada fabric for my next cross stitch project. Um, so yeah, but I haven't really done much the last week apart from the usual shopping and looking after me mum and oh that reminds me me mum um our landlines went out our home phones right um we were chris was in the middle of a conversation with somebody and it just went dead and he thought oh they've hung up so he puts the phone down like you like you do picks it back up and it's still dead and i said oh no it's a cross line they haven't hung up at their end we're stuffed anyway about an hour later it's still the same there's no nothing it's dead chris tries calling it from like our mobiles and stuff no ringing, no nothing. So we thought, like, oh, don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's a fault in the area, you know. So he phones up 
Virgin, yeah, I'm on Virgin, no funny comments, thank you very much, I get enough of them from other people, but being on Virgin, um, yeah, so, <laughs> yes, and it did go ages ago, <laughs> before anybody, <laughs> as I was asked before, anyway, um, so, yeah, Chris phones up on his mobile, but it says that, that it was the same day that the new iPhone came out, so, there was a volume of calls and it said it could wait up to a quarter of an hour because obviously normally if you've got a problem with the landline you phone from the landline and it puts you through to like the landline department if you've got a problem with your mobile you phone from your mobile it puts you through the mobile department so of course we're then going through what we've done before when we've had a landline problem is go through the mobile department and they'll go oh yeah not a problem and connect us to the landline department they've done it loads you know um, they understand why. So of course we're then waiting and waiting and Chris is on the phone for about like uh, just over five minutes and he said Oh, I won't bother. I'll try him again later. So we're like, yeah, okay, not worry about it um, By then we're thinking or oh, maybe it's a fault in the area or it's a fault with our phone because our actual Phone itself we've had it years and it's on its last legs. It keeps playing up not charging properly and that But anyway, so all of a sudden it's sort of like late. It's like Late and we think was that the gate that just went? I thought, hey, and it was only my mum I, and my mum's, anybody knows, my mum's disabled, she walks on crutches and stuff like that, you know, she walks with her sticks. And her landline had gone out as well. Now, my mum does have a mobile. Uh, excuse my hair, from side to side, excuse my hair, every time I wash it, it's getting long and it just gets in my freaking face now. It goes like, pff, puff ball, I look like a freaking toad, toadstool or mushroom or something. But anyway, I digress. Anyway, so yeah, it was my mum, her landline had gone out. And she couldn't phone us. Now, she does have a mobile, but she very rarely uses it, so she forgets to charge it. Even though me and my brother and loads of other people have said, you need to keep it charged in case this sort of thing happens. So, of course, she panicked and literally just came running round to our house. Now, it's literally, I could walk from my house to my mum's in, like, three minutes. But it takes my mum about ten. That's how slow she walks with her sticks because of her knees and her back and everything else. So anyway, so she comes around, she's panicking, she's shaking as well because it's sort of like, ugh. So give her a cup of tea, sort her out and stuff like that. And then um, I walk her back while Chris goes around the back shops and gets her, her tea and stuff like that. So yeah, so I went back and sat with her for a while so she was okay. But yeah, then literally as we were around there, Chris phones up my mum's landline, it rings, it's got food, the, the thing had been sorted. And we're like, oh, great. Because obviously while my mum was here, we phoned them up and they said, oh yeah, there's a fault in the area, we know about it, we're working on it, sort of thing. So it was like, okay, great, brilliant. But yeah, so that was um, a fun experience. And my mum suddenly turning up on the doorstep, which we weren't expecting. But yes, apart from that, my life's been pretty quiet this week. Um... Don't, not doing much this week either, so I'm probably be a bit quiet again. Also, um, before I go, this Friday, um, I'm going to be doing the Q&A um, on a Friday. So, if you have any questions, let me know on Facebook, Twitter, hashtag AskChew. Um, so, yeah, if you've got any questions, either leave them in the comments with a hashtag AskChew, so I know not to answer them in the comments. <laughs> um, and that on Facebook, Twitter and that sort of stuff. Also, me and Patrick filmed something on Saturday. Well, actually, we filmed it in the week and put it up on Saturday. Um, um, the Jeremy Cutlery Show. Now, most of it was Patrick's idea. Okay. Um, we were mucking around. We were talking about nursery rhymes and how people change the words on them and stuff like that. And then we would come up with a dish that ran away with a spoon. And Patrick was like, yeah, you know, spoon shouldn't have done that, blah, blah, blah. They should end up on Jeremy Kyle show. And that was it, which turned into Jeremy Cutlery show. And then we're laughing our butts off talking about it. Ended up as a couple of scripts that were too long. So most of what we filmed was ad-libbed. We had a rough idea of what we were going to film, but no actual script. Um, which is why it's a bit weird and a bit choppy. So I said to him, if we do another one, next time we know how to do it properly. We we'll have to do a proper script and that. But yeah, so please go, there's a link on the screen here somewhere and down below. Please go and give it a like and a little comment like, well done, Patrick, or that was awesome, Patrick, or somewhat like that. You know, because I've already told him, I've had other people say like, oh, well, that was cool, that was cool, you know. So yeah, go and give it a like and say, well done, Patrick. Um, Patrick's my youngest, he's the one with autism, in case you didn't know. But anyway, um, yeah, so not much else. Can't think of anything else to say. So I'll sign off. 
I apologise if this is a bit on the long side, that's what she said. Um, but Mondays is probably going to be a slightly longish video anyway because I'm talking about what I've been doing in the week. But anyway, I will sign off now. So don't forget Q&A on Friday, leave me any questions, hashtag ask Chew on Facebook, Twitter, etc. Um, so yeah, you will take care. I love you all and I'll see you all soon. Bye.